People woke up this morning to two wildly different spring days in D.C. Cherry blossoms in full bloom here in New York and almost a beach day here. But in Wisconsin, the snow shovels were out again. And in Denver, one intrepid tulip pushing through. Extreme weather brewing up and a big chill ahead this week. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z following this April freeze. A violent Monday morning in parts of Texas. Hail pummeling this backyard and pool. It is on the ground right now. Tor it was a wicked weekend of reported tornadoes in Oklahoma, Texas, and Iowa, and supersized hail in northern Illinois. The Gulf Coast is on alert tonight. That severe weather risk area slipping east then from Virginia to Florida Tuesday. In Michigan. Look at that, that's a tornado. It was not a tornado, but straight line winds gusting to 80 plus miles per hour, leaving the earth littered with trees and power lines. So how do we know it wasn't a tornado? It's all about the radar and debris. See, tornadoes rotate, scattering debris in all directions. Straight line winds are just that, straight, pushing the debris in the same direction. And right on the tail of the severe weather, a blast of snow and cold, measurable from Wisconsin to as far south as North Texas. Highways from Colorado to Nebraska shut down Sunday. And when you see that type of snow, you know that I've got cold numbers coming at you. These are high temperatures from today. Some of them happen early in the day, 65 Chicago and Dallas. But watch as that cold front sweeps to the east. And by tomorrow morning, we're waking up in the 20s and 30s again, as if April has not yet happened. And look at this. There are freeze watches and warnings. I know a lot of folks from Texas all the way to Illinois concerned about their plants tonight. Diane? Okay, thanks so much, Ginger.